welcome to easy chemistry by Pravin. so today we are going to discuss about the topic is called as a neat iit important questions these sessions i will also cover the previous neat iit important questions in a atomic structure so in this we will discuss about the some of the questions based upon the cathode rays anode rays experiment and proton electrons charge to mass ratio these some of the questions we will discuss so see the first question which of the following is a true for the cathode rays we have to identify the options given for we have to identify the which is the true so they possess the kinetic energy of course cathode rays possess the kinetic energy they possess they are the electromagnetic waves they produces the heat they produces the mechanical pressure so among all these except these three so cathode rays are electrons they are not a electromagnetic waves they are not at all electromagnetic waves they produce the heat they produce the mechanical pressure they possess the kinetic energy so option b is the incorrect answer it is not a never true for the cathode or electron so see the next question so the size of the nucleus is in the order of the size of the nucleus is in the order of if you see the option 10 to the power of minus 12 meters 10 to the power of minus 8 meters 10 to the power of minus 15 meters 10 to the power of 10 meter so we know that the size of the nucleus 10 to the power of minus 15 meters it will be there 10 to the power of minus 58 next one the electron is there this is the question they have asked in the dfmt and 1982 they have asked so alpha ray beta ray hydrogen ions and positron so we know that electrons is a high beta is nothing but the high charged electron so option will be beta rays next one you can see the ratio of charge and mass would be greater for this they have been Benares University 2005 they has options they have given proton electrons neutron and alpha particle so um, charge to mass ratio nothing but the E by M ratio which will be more for example if you talk about the proton if you talk about charge to mass ratio so charge if you take the units like uh, one mass also will be like a one only so 1.00 so getting that so if you talk about the neutron it will be like zero if you talk about the alpha particle charge will be like a two mass will be like a four so two one is a two so is equal one by two if you talk about the electrons it is the charge is equal to one mass will be like a lighter than the protons so almost like one eighteen one upon one by eighteen thirty seven so the ratio of charge to mass will be greater for the electrons it should be greater so option b option b is the correct so if you see the next questions the magnitude of kinetic energy in an orbit is equal to they are asking the questions is that the kinetic energy the magnitude of kinetic energy of an orbit is equal to half of the potential energy twice of the potential energy one by fourth of the potential energy none of this above so magnitude of the kinetic energy in an orbit is always half of the potential energy half of the potential energy which is equal to the uh, magnitude of the kinetic energy of an orbit so next question is the density of the neutron is in the order of the density of the neutron is in the order of 10 to the power of 3 kg for cc so next option 10 to the power of 6 uh, kg for cc 10 to the power of 9 kg for cc 10 to the power of 11 kg for cc if you see the density of the neutrons it will be like a 10 to the power of 11 kg for cc so next question the discovery of the neutron is very late because of ames 1998 they have asked question this questions so neutrons are present in the nucleus neutrons are highly unstable particles neutrons do not move neutrons are chargeless what would be the reason for the discover what, uh, what was the reason for the discovery of the neutron was late if you see neutrons are present in the nucleus it is not at all the correct reason for the discovery of the nucleus uh, discovery of the neutron so neutrons are highly unstable this is not also the also correct for correct so neutrons do not move this is also not correct so neutrons are the 
charge so this is the correct reason for the discovery of the neutrons were very less so what happened when it's a chargeless when it's chargeless so chargeless particle will not deflected will not show the any reflection deflections in the uh, deflected uh, deflections in the electrical and magnetic field so this is the reason for the discovery of the neutrons discovery of the neutron very uh, late next questions the order of density of nucleus before we discuss the order of density of the neutrons if you see here the order of density of nucleus the order of density of nucleus options they have given 10 to the power of 8 kg for cc 10 to the power of minus 8 kg for cc so 10 to the power of minus 9 kg for cc 10 to the power of 12 kg for cc if you see the density order it would be like a 10 to the power of 12 kg for cc so options will be like a last option 10 to the power of 12 kg for cc so if you see the next questions cathode ray sir these questions they have asked in the previously dpmt 90 um, sorry jipma 1991 they have asked the question so what are the cathode rays cathode rays are protons cathode rays are electrons cathode rays are neutrons cathode rays are alpha particles we know that the discovery of the electrons nothing but the with the help of the discharge tube experiment that means cathode rays discharge tube experiment so cathode rays are the negative charged particle that is only we are calling it as a electrons we are calling if you see the next questions so the heaviest particles dpmt 1983 they have asked questions options they have given so if you see the option means on neutrons proton and electrons we know the um, mass of the heaviest particles or mass of the each particles we know so among all if you see neutron is a little bit more mass than the proton and electron so automatically it will be like a the mass of the heaviest mass of the particles the waste particles is nothing but the neutron having the heaviest particles among the meson meson and proton and electrons so next question the, this question they were asked in the bhu 1985 cpmt 1988 and 1982 also they have asked these questions the penetrations power of the electrons the penetration power of the sorry the penetration power of the proton is more than the electrons less than the electrons more than neutron none of this above so generally if you talk about the penetration powers the penetration power is indirectly proportional to the mass so penetration power indirectly proportional to the mass it will be there so penetration powers if you talk about the electron having more penetration power than the proton so obviously penetration power of the proton is less than the electrons will be there so proton is 180 37 heavier mass than the electron so it is having the less mass electron having the less mass so automatically its penetration power will be like a more it will be there so answer will be like penetration power of the proton is less than the electrons so next question as you can see the size of the nucleus is measured in this question they are asked in the two computation exams so one is mz 1988 cpmt 1994 they have asked these questions so they have given the options like option a amu option b angstrom option c fermi option d if you talk about it it is the centimeter if you see the size of the nucleus is measured in fermi only it is measured so one fermi is equal to 10 to the power of minus 15 meters so size of the nucleus is measured in fermi one fermi is equal 10 to the power of minus uh, 10 to the power of minus 15 meters so see the next questions one would expect proton to have a very large so among the four options they have given among the four options the proton uh, will show the more whatever the uh, ionization potential radius charge and hydration energy so proton will not talk about the ionization potential uh, radius and uh, charge it will not have a more very large but if you talk about the hydration energy yes proton having the have highest hydration energy so hydration energy is indirectly proportional to the size so proton having the small size automatically it is having the highest ionization energy so you can see hydration energy 
hydration energy indirectly proportional to the size so it is having the small size that why it is having the uh, more hydration energy it is having so see the next questions the mass of one mole of electrons will be like pb set 2004 so 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 28 grams 1.008 milligrams 0 0.050 milligrams d all the above they have given if you see here one mole is nothing but the avogadro's number so the mass should be multiplied with the avogadro's number then only you can get the answer easily we can get so if you see what about the mass mass into avogadro's avogadro's number so avogadro's numbers if you're talking about the avogadro's number so mass of the uh, electrons will be like a 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 28 grams they have given so now we have to multiply with the mole mole is nothing but the we know that 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 particles so if you multiply you will get like a 54.78 into 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 5 grams so if you do simplification you will get 0 0.55 milligram so mass of one mole of proton is equal 0 0.55 0 0.55 milligram so see the next question the ratio of specific charge of the proton and alpha particles charge to mass ratio we have to calculate it so between the proton and alpha particle if you talk about the uh, proton so proton having the plus one charge and mass will be like a one if you take the amu so alpha particles alpha particle charge will be like a plus two mass will be like a four so if you talk about one by one is equal so is equal two by four is equal to so it will be like a charge to mass ratio two is to one ratio also you can take two is to one ratio or one is to zero point five ratio also you can take so answer will be like a two is to one ratio or one maximum they have given answer like a two is to one ratio so the ratio of the specific charge of the proton and alpha particle so whenever you are doing the calculations of the specific charge so first we have to take as a charge and uh, upon the mass we have to take charge to the mass we have to take already made a one how to calculate the charge to mass ratio i will give in the course once uh, uh, go through that video how you can easily understand how to calculate the charge to mass ratio for different um, uh, particles and uh, uh, elements also you can easily calculate it so see next question splitting of signals is caused by protons neutron positrons and electrons if you talk about the splitting of the uh, signals is caused by the protons only so splitting of the signals is caused by the protons which is adjust, uh, attached to the adjacent carbon atoms so whatever the absorption protons is there that is not equal to the these protons so uh, splitting of the signals is caused by the proton which is adjacent to the which is attached to the adjacent carbon atoms so see the next questions uh, ratio of mass of electrons and protons so if you're talking about the electron mass it is a light particles 101 of so if you talk about the protons it is like a, a 1837 times heavier than the electrons it is heavier than so you can write uh, uh, right it is one, 180 37 is heavier than the electron so proton mass we know that amu it is a one so you can say that electrons and proton mass is equal to one is to eighteen hundred and that one is to one eight three seven so this is about the sum of the questions so in next video we will discuss about the different iit need examination questions previous questions based upon the electromagnetic radiations in the coming videos also we will discuss the more atomic models uh, 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 quantum numbers different type of the numericals also we will discuss if you are watching the my videos first time please subscribe to the my channel so thank you for watching